Customs is an ancient organization which was seen in Egypt 4,500 years ago. That time, the whole country was ruled by only army and customs. Bangladesh Customs was formed under the National Board of Revenue NBR, in 1972 under the President's Order No. 76. In Bangladesh, Custom is responsible for collecting revenue and for controlling the flow of goods including animal, transports and hazardous items in and out of the country and border protection. The world economy is growing faster. Considering international trade, the WTO is playing a vital role for boosting trade facilitation all over the world. As a member of WTO and signatory of WTO TFA, it became obligatory for Bangladesh to implement TFA provisions. The National Board of Revenue has undertaken a great initiative to modernize customs. The initiatives have been taken uh, by the National Board of Revenue are being supported by development partners like World Bank, uh, the USAID, BTFA, the uh, ADB and IMF. I thank our Honorable Finance Minister, Honorable Finance State Minister and our Honorable Chairman for their moral support and other support which we require to introduce the system. Within 2022, the whole world will see that Bangladesh Customs has modernized in a way that it is in the same pace with the customs of developed countries. NBR has taken the following initiatives for modernizing Bangladesh Customs. These are Authorized Economic Operator, Risk Management, National Single Window, Advanced Ruling, Publishing Information by Website, National Inquiry Point, Post Clearance Audit, Release Time of Goods, Pre-Arrival Processing, Advanced Passenger Information or Passenger Name Record, Expedited Shipment, Scanning System, etc. NBR has a remarkable achievement in TFA implementation. Bangladesh Customs has taken a lot of initiatives to implement AEO. Basically, AEO ensures simplified declaration, convenient clearance, fewer controls, priority treatment, recognition, revert for complaint traders. Recently, Bangladesh Customs amended the Customs Act to introduce AEO. An SRO has been issued on AEO detailing the methods to implement AEO. The NBR organized a lot of training events for customs officers and relevant stakeholders with the support of development partners such as USAID, Bangladesh Trade Facilitation Activity, BTFA, to introduce a pilot program for AEO with pharmaceutical companies. Risk management is also a provision of the WTO TFA. The RM system will help Bangladesh Customs to identify the risky consignments. Therefore, the complaint and honest importers or exporters will be able to release their consignments without any hassle. Internationally, there are four channels for clearing goods. They are green, yellow, blue and red. To facilitate the trade, NBR has amended the Custom Act 1969 to introduce the risk-based custom controls. NBR has already formed central and local risk management unit. NBR is working to establish a full-fledged RM directorate. Considering modernization activities, NBR is going to develop risk management software very soon. National Single Window is a single platform for the traders to get one-stop service from the related government agencies to clear imported and exportable goods in a faster and scientific manner. With the implementation of NSW, 319,000 traders in Bangladesh are expected to be benefited with the average processing time. The government of Bangladesh has already approved National Single Window project, nominating Bangladesh Customs as the lead agency to monitor and operate NSW. Furthermore, 
NBR has already formed project implementation unit, assigned offices, developed the short and long-term work plan, and initiated procurements. As a further step, NBR has signed Memorandum of Understanding MOU with the 39 ministries and government agencies who will be the main actors of NSW initiatives. As a member of WTU and signatory of WTO TFA, it is an obligation for Bangladesh to implement WTO TFA provisions. Customs modernization is imperative to prevent revenue leakage and offer the hassle-free services to traders. National Board of Revenue is always working to create a trade-friendly environment and support the trading community to boost up domestic and international business. I am happy to let you know that the modernization plan embodies a balancing situation to ensure revenue protection and trade facilitation. NPR has already implemented advanced rulings. This process will highly be beneficial for traders and customs. For traders, add certainty and predictability to international trade helps traders to make proper business decision. For customs, acquire advanced knowledge on classification, origin, etc. Advanced information on import and for risk management. NBR has issued an SRO detailing the procedure of advanced ruling. NBR has already issued 16 advanced rulings on classification. NBR has conducted several awareness seminars on advanced ruling in Dhaka and Chotrogram and has also planned to conduct such type of seminars all over the country. WTO TFA emphasized on publication of trade-related information. Bangladesh Customs introduced a comprehensive website with the technical assistance of USAID BTFA on customs matters. The web address is www.bangladeshcustoms.gov.bd. The website contains almost all customs-related information including legislation, important SROs and orders. NBR developed NEP mechanism where relevant day-to-day -day questions are archived as FAQ. Anyone can send a query to NEP visiting Bangladesh Customs website. If the answers are not available in the FAQ, the inquirer may send questions to NEP. The NEP team of NBR will give answers of the queries. A detailed standing order for the management of NEP has already been issued. There are two types of post-clearance audit, PCA, system-based and transaction-based. NBR is working on implementing both types of PCA. Presently, customs offices are practicing transaction-based PCA. Hopefully, NBR will be able to initiate system-based PCA in all customs offices. NBR has already trained about 150 customs offices on system-based and transaction-based PCA, including 20 expert trainers on post-clearance auditing. An office order and a PCA manual on transaction-based PCA have already been published to conduct PCA properly. Local PCA unit has been formed in all custom houses and custom stations. NBR is planning to conduct more workshops, seminars and training events on PCA so as to educate the offices and stakeholders regarding PCA. NBR conducted four time release studies from 2014 to 2016 in Chottogram, Binapur, Dhaka ICD Custom House. A national workshop on TRS was conducted in Chottogram in October 2017. NBR would expect all the custom houses and LC stations to conduct T 
TRS regularly based on the data available in SECUDA world to get regular updates on customs clearance time. Because of NBR's initiatives based on the findings of TRS, clearing time for imported goods is reduced from 11 days to 8 days and for exported goods from 8 days to 5 days. This is now an international practice to start processing of clearing goods before arrival. NBR has taken initiatives of necessary amendment on Customs Act 1969 to introduce PAP. NBR has arranged seminars, awareness programs and workshops with related stakeholders regarding PAP and it will be continued. Advanced Passenger Information API or Passenger Name Record PNR to reduce hassle of the passengers in the international airport and to prevent anti-smuggling activities, this is highly required to implement Advanced Passenger Information API or Passenger Name Record PNR system in Bangladesh. NBR has taken some initiatives along with Civil Aviation Authority Bangladesh CAB to implement API or PNR in Bangladesh. NBR has made necessary amendments in the Customs Act to introduce API or PNR. Following the guidelines of WTO TFA, NBR took initiatives to implement expedited shipment. Managing the postal and courier imports is the real challenge across the world. NBR has already made necessary amendments to initiate effective de minimis in order to expedite postal and courier shipments. However, NBR is working on automation, risk management and infrastructural rearrangement for ensuring expedited shipments. A project under PPP on scanning system has been approved by the government of Bangladesh. This project will cover scanning system at all the customs houses and stations within the country and it will give a new shape on customs activities. There will be a central and local scanning division to monitor the activities of this system. Bangladesh Customs is undertaking many technological and management processes. Also, member of the WTO World Trade Organization, Bangladesh Customs has obligations to fulfill certain requirements, like it has already signed a secure project with WTO and World Customs Organization. Bangladesh Customs has set up other modernizing processes also, like doing business like uh, authorized economic operators, national single window. In that light, Various work that it is undertaking in this area will improve its capacity, will strengthen its service delivery system. Thereby, it will increase our GDP, will increase the per, he per capita income, and also improve our living standards. Our work in this area will continue in the coming days, and we will undertake more modernizing processes in order to raise the level of service given by Bangladesh customers to much higher level. The proposal of new Customs Act has already been approved and it is going to be implemented very soon. Earlier, Bangladesh Customs has initiated a strategic action plan 2014 to 2017 for proper and timely implementation of the said provisions. Customs Modernization Desk has taken the second strategic action plan 2018 to 2021 for Bangladesh. There are 10 program areas in this strategic action plan. The volume of international trade is increasing day by day. Therefore, we need to modernize and automate the manual system of customs procedure so as to face the ongoing challenges of international trade. As an emerging tiger of South Asia, Bangladesh is going to be a middle-income country soon. Thus, we have taken initiatives to implement the Trade Facilitation Agreement of WTO which will enhance the economy of the country by facilitating international trade.